and <laughs> it's a funny video. I'll show you. It's a really, really funny video. This is Chris D'Elia on TMZ, actually. Let's see if it comes up. Is it coming up? Yeah, there you go. There's Chris D'Elia on TMZ, TMZ right? Um, I don't know why they're interviewing him because Chris D'Elia doesn't watch sports. So let's see what what's going on. But it's a really weird angle. He's standing side on, not really looking at the guy. But let's see. At least he's got his uh, 40 year old man neck tattoo going on, right? Let's see what's happening. Good, but. You know, there's so many guys that will do it. It doesn't matter. People love roasts. Yeah, no, it was really good. I think we forgot yeah. how good they are, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Imagine, would Chris go on a roast? Imagine Chris D'Elia's roast. I think he'd cry. Chris D'Elia's roast would cry. But look, look at him. I know it's weird anyway, because TMZ always, like, uh, you know, I think with celebrities, TMZ's all, TMZ always kind of uh, jumps on them when they're at LAX, right? And when you're coming out of an airport, you, I don't know, not you feel vulnerable, but you're a little bit dis, disorientated, right? You're a little bit tired. You, you probably want a shower. You probably want your bed. You want a hot meal. You're just all over the place. The last thing you want to do is have an interview. First of all, when you're in the airport, you barely want to talk. When you Sometimes if you see a friend, you want to avoid them. You know what I mean? I know I've done that before. You see a friend in the airport and you kind of want to not speak because you don't want to have a long conversation. So... I can imagine getting like, you know, getting uh, getting interrupted by a TMZ reporter can be a little bit uncomfortable. But bloody hell, Crystalia, man, relax. He's not gonna ask you about the sixteen-year-olds. Relax. Last question. You know, you do Tom Brady, <laughs> yeah. and it went so well. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta know, like, how do you follow that? It's really difficult, right? Like, yeah. you can't just go like, all right. Yeah. This kind of hurts, though, because they, they're asking him these questions about a Tom Brady roast like he's a regular guy. That's the thing that's got to hurt about this whole comedy roasting. They're not talking to him like he's a peer. They're not talking to him like he's a part of the industry. They're talking to him like he's some other dude that has nothing to do with comedy. So like, you're a stand-up also, huh? Didn't you sit before by the comedy store? Why weren't you there? That's what the TMZ reporter should ask him. Why weren't you there? This guy. You got it. Yeah. What do you, how do you, you follow gotta, that? You got to get LeBron. Ooh, you gotta get LeBron. Yeah. Never, they'll never, LeBron will never do it. No, no. or but Jordan. I thought Tom Brady would have done it. Jordan, right. Jordan would never do it. Jordan would never do it. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. most of the goats of anything, yeah, they, they ain't gonna do I'm that. I'm shocked Tom Brady did that, honestly. Yeah. Um, but how that's the thing, though. I think the Tom Brady roast. That's the thing that's different, though. I think you need to have people. I don't know how it would work. I don't know if anybody would agree to do it. Who's unlikable, like incredibly divisive, unlikable people probably wouldn't do it. Because I think they have some semblance of self-awareness that they're just going to get destroyed for the whole time. The Tom Brady one, although it was brutal, it felt like a celebration of his life. Apart from a couple of people, Tony Hinchcliffe being one maybe, I thought everybody that went on there was kind of sucking him off anyway. Yeah, they were joking and ragging on him, but they were also sucking him off. It's like an excuse. I thought that the roast, as great as it is, if you're a clout demon, it's a great way for you to kind of fake affinity with a celebrity. You get what I mean? I gotta know, like, how do you follow that? It's really difficult, right? Like, yeah. you can't just go like, all right, no. this guy. You gotta, I, yeah. What do you, how do you, you follow gotta, that? You gotta get LeBron. Ooh, you gotta get LeBron. Yeah. Never, they'll never, LeBron will never do it. No, no. or but Jordan. I thought Tom Brady would have done it. Jordan, right. Jordan would never do it. Jordan would never do it. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. most of the goats of anything, yeah. they ain't gonna do I'm that. I'm shocked Tom Brady did that, honestly. Yeah. Um, but how do you how do you follow? What do we, LeBron's funny though. LeBron. That's, a, that's an interesting one. You'd have to get like uh, you could if you someone can, that would Je when Jesus comes back. They should get Jesus. <laughs> Nothing off limits with a Jesus roast. I love that. Yeah. Hey, we love you, right, man. Good, Take bro. care. No, we don't love you. We don't love you. But he was really nervous. So you could tell he was really nervous. He didn't want that guy to ask him anything about diddling kids. He was very, very, very. Very, 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 very nervous. And um, like I said, it's got to be sad though, isn't it? Like to be out of, I guess it's nice that he's leaving. That's a nice thing. He's leaving LA for the weekend. So you don't get to see all the Netflix as a joke stuff because I checked their Instagram and they have plastered content and billboards and signage and little fun things and whatever all over the place, literally all over the LA or what a part of LA is advertisements for Netflix is a joke. So you can't escape this Netflix is a joke festival at all. So if you're a comedian and you're not booked on there, it must feel 
it must feel soul destroying if you're a comedian that's on there and you're not booked it must feel fucking soul destroying so um what could we do what could we do what can we do what can we do it is what it is that's one of the that's one of the um, that's one of the consequences of diddling in the podcasting age you don't get cancelled because you've got a podcast you've got your own fan base but you have to go through this hell where when an industry event happens you're not involved and you know you're not involved because of the allegations because if he was if if he didn't have allegations against his name chris Ali would definitely be there he's a he's a netflix guy isn't it? he was on you he's had the specials on there so that's part of the you know that's part of the consequences of diddling you have your career still because you've got a podcast but you're gonna have to suck up having to watch all your friends do their thing you know while you're like i bet you all crystal has openers are there i bet you everybody he takes on the road is there but he's not so 